all right so good morning y'all if you're watching this video you're watching because you were interested in knowing my life as a chemistry major and what i do so basically um i've been woke up it's 9 48 i've been just laying in bed or whatever so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pack my book bag and i'm gonna pack my laptop i got my let my bag right here my laptop my chargers for my ipad all of those also pack my ipad with my apple pencil and i got my apple watch um my airpods hmm. they must already be in here uh, yeah they're already here um my what's it called my AirPods, what else? My phone charger. All that. Snack because I'm going to the library from um, I'm going to the library from 10 until like 4, 4 30. During that time I'm just being in the library, get my work done, knocking out some work for the week. And um yeah, so I'm being there for a minute, so I'm gonna need me some snacks, water with some lemon juice. I like drinking water with lemon juice. I do not like plain water. So, that's that. Pack a couple fruit snacks. I heard lemon juice make you lose weight though. Probably before I gain no weight. You know, first and 15, the first when I gain weight, I feel like it doesn't do like it's the opposite for me. Having gained weight. But well, well. So already right, got the water. Today is supposed to be sunny today. So I don't think I have to worry about an umbrella. And put some fruit snacks in my bag. Some chocolate. Before I go to the library, I have to get my COVID test done. So I'm gonna get that done. And then I'm gonna talk to y'all when I get to the library. Because at 10 a.m. I have my biology class. It's online for me on Tuesdays. So I um, just have it on my phone. But normally during that time, she goes through PowerPoint slides of the current chapter that we're on. So while she goes through the PowerPoint slides, I just take notes from the textbook and my iPad during that time. But I'm gonna be a little late because you know, I got out of bed late. Cause I was just playing around. So. Yeah, I should get to the library where I'm probably 10, 20, 10, 30. So I'm going to talk to y'all then. Yeah, let me tell y'all. So, you know I said I was supposed to be going to the library about 10 o'clock? Tell me why I just got done with my COVID test since 11.30. So I was standing in line for COVID testing for an hour and a half. And the reason for that is because we just came back from spring break. Some people went everywhere or whatever. And a lot of people since spring break came back, a lot of people been catching COVID. So they made us take a PCR. Because normally we just only got to take a rapid test and that's it. But today they made us take two, the PCR and a rapid one. So everything was unorganized organized you didn't know we had to register beforehand it was like different lines and stuff like that so i was in line for an hour and a half so it's 11 22 so i just need me a refresher i'm gonna go get me not a refresher but i'm gonna get me a coffee from starbucks to just get my day back on track so we're a setback or whatever because i didn't get to take notes or whatever but i'm still when i get back i have calculus at 12 i just log on zoom up there and yeah um during that time, I'll probably take my biology notes during calculus class. I know you're like, why are you not paying attention to calculus? But if you want me to be honest, like being very realistic with y'all, calculus, like my calculus one class, I understood everything. I knew what was going on. I was doing the work. But calculus two is hitting different. And it's just hitting different because I have a different professor. And like, no um, offense to anyone who's, you know, foreign or have an accent. But personally for me, it's very hard because he has a very, very, very strong accent. But that doesn't take away from his teaching ability because even though his accent is very strong, he does repeat everything he says. He go over each problem at least five times. And if you don't understand it, he'll, he has no problem going over it. He's one of them teachers that if you have a problem with anything, he'll be like, okay, we'll do this until we get out of class. So nothing is a problem with him. It's just, you know, it's just harder to understand the material the first time around but nonetheless calculus two and three is just different like 
it's just so different. Like, I just, I can't explain it. So, even if I pay attention during the first lecture, I just always have to go back and watch, rewatch lectures. But, yeah, um, in college, being honest, you have to basically just choose what's more important, what you need to get done first. So, yeah, y'all, um, so that's basically what it is. Especially if you have a lot of assignments or a lot of classes or you have certain exams. If you know you're good with one subject, you need to focus your time on a subject that you know you're struggling in. And that's where it just comes to um, triaging and just making certain things a priority which you don't understand. So that's basically with me. Um, with me, biology is very easy too, but I just have I just like to take my notes for reference. And then, you know, I can always go back and rewatch a lecture. But the notes, it's like, it'd be five different sections for one chapter. And so I need to finish one and two at least. Because we we do a new chapter every week. So, I'm already, you know. I'm just going to go ahead and tell y'all that. So, I'm going to go to Starbucks. And then, I'm going to talk to y'all when I go to the library. And, I'm going to show y'all how we have to create a pass to sign on before we can enter the library. So, yeah. Upon entering Clark, this is first we have to go through the screening, get our temperature check. And then you enter up here. It's a lot of different places you can study, but me per personally, I like to go to um, the um, the Mac, the iMac, whatever it's called. So I come right here to this area. It's very empty today because I think everybody is standing in line for that COVID test. Like y'all, that line is so long, but so um, it has a charging station. So basically. Set up, put that down. Okay, my iPad, laptop, put that on, and then it is 12:09, so I have to sign on to my calculus class. And in the library, we're required to keep our face mask on, like, but it's hot, like. I'm sorry y'all like I just came from outside I just like you would think that we can at least have our mask off in the building if we're virus like we're not around nobody but nah they don't be having that it's so hot y'all I'm sorry this is gonna come up to me because it's and then it's like 80 some degrees outside and they still wants to wear a mask I understand inside the building but outside it still wants you to wear a mask outside like it's hot you see I'm sweating Turn the mat on, type in the code, cause I'm gonna join calculus off my laptop and I'm gonna do, I think my recitation assignments are open, but let me show y'all the um, my like homework well assignment thing. So this is the um program that we use for assignments for Clark. So um, let me go in, so let me zoom in. Okay, anywho, this is the Zoom link for class for calculus. I click that. Join meeting. Um, open Zoom. Join computer audio. As a factorial. Okay. So we can employ this nice Okay, and now let me log on to the other thingy. Oh, why is it not cutting on? I do not feel like going to another computer. <sighs> okay, y'all, hold on. Let me set everything up. So, this is my recitation work. For recitation, we have until 5 p.m. to complete these three assignments for nuclear chemistry. And then, also, these are just, okay, that just went fast. These are my other assignments that's due for the rest of the week. So, for today, I'm going to complete my recitation assignments, my biology assignments. And also, I have these due on Thursday. So, actually, I'm going to do these. I'm going to do Thursday work, Wednesday work, and um, I think I'm going to go ahead and do these two for Saturday. And I save, I always save my lab assignments for Thursdays. But um, if I have time today that I feel like doing it, I'll complete these. And uh, yeah. This series is divergent. So this is basically my um, the layout. So basically I'd be like, how do I keep up with my assignment? Basically it does it for me, but I plan out what I want to do you know, on certain days. So you click on that. You have unlimited attempts and it's like three questions. 
So, um, it's okay. Let me show you all the assignment. Okay, calculate binding energy. I don't know how to do these, but we always have to refer to our notes. So, let me go to my notes. For this, I'm going to show y'all um, what my notes, uh, what our notes that he gives us looks like. I keep all my notes on my iPad. Um, if you watch my video, I have a um, video on, what's it called? On how I'm a paperless student, how I take all my notes on my iPad. So if y'all want something more information on that, go watch that video. But this is my general chemistry tab. Um, I have everything in here from, let me just show y'all. I have everything in here from notes to sample exams to just my practice work all that so let me go to my chapter 21 notes which is this chapter and we're on nuclear chemistry which is like you know the gamma beta alpha particles and all that and so the question is referring to binding energy so i need to find the example with the question that has binding energy um, let's calculate the activity let's talk about the age how much energy is given off so it's probably somewhere right here, but I don't want to, you know. Also, really for recitation, we're supposed to be on Zoom, you know, with our cameras on, asking questions, stuff like that. But he, for some reason, he opened them early. Lately, he's been opening the assignments early because it used to be due at 4 p.m. and he'd have like five different assignments. So I guess he started giving us more time or whatever and a chance to get ahead. Because some of them, um, like some of our previous recitation work was like, huh. Yeah, but so I'm gonna work on this, listen to some music, and I'm gonna holler at y'all when I'm either almost done with this or start another assignment. Throw that mask out when you jump off first, you better blast. When you pop in with your killers, you better check your gear. It's unlimited attempts, so I always just try one question and then I just submit it because I just want to see if I did that one question right since all of these are the same format. And I got it wrong. And the notes are really not showing how to do it, so I'm just going to wait to recitation. Uh, I'm going to show y'all basically, you know, I ask him a question, he'll tell me how to do it or whatever, and then I proceed like that. So then I'm going to just show y'all that way because I've been figured trying to do this for like an hour and I'm still not getting it right. I even searched it up on... Um, check to try to get the steps and i'm just not understanding where they're getting these certain numbers from so just you know try to figure out how to work it out so i'm just gonna wait to ask my professor so recitation doesn't start until two o'clock and it is 119 it's not focusing but whatever but i was just planning out my youtube schedule and what i like my next vlog um what hair promotions i need to get out the way and what timing i want to do those so 119 so it was like 12 o'clock like when i last talked to y'all so while i wait for recitation to start i'm gonna go ahead and do my biology discussion it's not really a discussion she just wants you to type in your present to show that you i guess you know i just type in your present for that next we have we're on chapter, we we'll start on chapter 39. Um, so I have a learning curve to do. But really, I just, I don't even want to get started on that right now. I really just want to do my recitation work and then go on. So I'm just wait till 2 o'clock. So yeah, hold on. But it's basically the same thing. It's, by, it's the same numerical number, but different units, yes. Yes, different units. So in grams but do i put that over the mole number that's given okay there's no number of moles you're simply taking an entire mole it is per mole 
The question says calculate the binding energy for 0.027 moles. So where do I put that number? Then you then you have to once you calculate grams per mole, you divide, you multiply the number times the number of moles. Yeah, so you can get it in just um, grams, correct? Because that gram will cancel out no, from you, the other number. No, 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 no. You, you, well, you have to get it in moles, right? They're asking you for so many moles. If I can share the screen. Okay. I'm about to join off of my iPad so you can see my iPad. Presentation. Okay, so I was saying with this part, you see how I was saying that the grams cancel out with each other and we multiply by the moles. Absolutely, or now you have your answer in mole. Per mole. If you have kilojoules per mole, plus the grams cancel out. Okay, so I'm saying, so we multiply that nine number, and then, okay, this is the AMU number. Well, you're converting it to grams per mole from AMU per atom. So we have to multiply that by the moles given. And then you multiply that times the number of moles given, yes. And so that should give me the answer, right? Yes. Because when I had did it like that, that might be just because you changed it from kilograms to kilograms per mole. I don't know. Because when I had put that answer in, it said it was wrong. Not kilogram, kilojoule. I mean, yeah, kilojoules. Yeah, but you, you wait, but you left something out though. Which one? Okay, wait a minute. Let me look at the question. Let me look at the question. Uh, uh, wait, which question are you working on? Number one for the yeah, nuclear but, chemistry. Yeah, but you don't, you, well, you don't multiply by the mass of the helium atom, you multiply the missing mass, you have to calculate how much mass is missing from putting the protons and neutrons together to give helium. Okay, so y'all, it's two o'clock and this is basically recitation. So this is what it looks like. Um, hold on. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Um, we basically have my professor he is right here. Then we have like teaching assistants. Like if you ask a question, they'll help you. So I'm about to ask them a question because I don't know how to do this. So. I'm done with nuclear chemistry one. I got them all right. And you know, as I said, my videos, once I do my recitation assignments and I have them right, I make sure I have them um, worked out. Focus, hello. I have them worked out and then I put the picture to the side okay so then i add the picture i crop it just to show what needs to be shown okay and then i just make it bigger like that and then boom i have the questions and i have how to work it out on the side and yeah now i'm fixing to move on to nuclear chemistry two so dashboard and i have to go to nuclear chemistry two um i have a exam for my first year student class that class is so easy y'all that ain't um whatever okay second one the sample how old is the sample in years yeah um, now I have to ask questions on how to work this out and um, get back to y'all. It is officially four o'clock. I am done with my recitation work. Um, I completed all my three recitation assignments. And, and next, I'm going to complete these two movement altar assignments and then this chapter 39 homework assignment. I'll be done for the day so that I have all my work completed until Sunday. 
so we use Newton Alta for my chemistry class and basically um it's a uh, it's based on how much you complete to a certain mastery and like in my previous videos i've stated i always complete my assignment to 100 percent mastery um in order for you to receive extra credit on your exam you have to complete it to at least a 90 percent mastery but i always go to 100 percent because why not um so yeah that's basically what i'm fixing to do so um i'm gonna talk to y'all um probably once i'm done with these few assignments and then I think later on tonight when I get back to my room after I take a break I'll do like some biology notes and that's gonna be the end of my day but I'm gonna talk to y'all later All right, so hey y'all um it is 6 48 so I left the library around five something and so basically I just been taking some time off like I haven't been chilling but like I left the library I went and placed this food order um I went to the bank so this is what I ordered I got this food from Mr. Everything Cafe it's like it's it's a um, rice and I added chicken, shrimp. It come with broccoli, cheese, and everything else. So I'm fixing to eat this food and watch me some Law and Order because that's my show. Yes, I'm a Law and Order S SVU fan. Um, and then I watched the crossover with Organized Crime, but I went for the next episode. But anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna eat, do this, um, watch and chill, and then later I'm gonna get back started with my work. So. So yeah, um, I'm getting ready to start my biology notes and this is what I started for chapter 38. I basically just write, you know, definitions that's important down and pictures like this picture is, um, it shows glycolysis. Let me see if I can zoom in. It shows glycolysis and just a whole bunch of other processes or whatever. And so, um, focus, <laughs> stop playing with me. And so yeah, I write down the definitions any key points and then basically um yeah also like i said if you want a um of how i like you know get the pictures or whatever and stuff like that from my powerpoints i mean from my textbook then i have a video already on why is my okay but yeah if you want a um tutorial on how i do the my notes and all that, I have a video of that already up. So now I'm gonna take my biology notes, vibe some music, and um, yeah, so I mean, there's nothing to really watch or see. This is basically just a productive day in my life. Um, I basically knocked out all my work until Sunday, in which, you know, my work due Sunday is my labs. And like I said, I do my labs on Thursday. So after Thursdays, I'll really be done with work for the rest of the week. That's why I be having my weekends to like, I be vlogging mostly on the weekends and doing stuff so that's basically what i do um next semester that definitely will change because um i take organic chemistry and if you're a chemistry major you definitely know that organic chemistry is nothing to play with none whatsoever so yeah i might just be crying in the video next semester even though like you this is definitely something you could cry about too but general chemistry is not really that hard for me but i know for other students they struggle with it but it just i don't know maybe just i like chemistry some people like they like biology over chemistry but biology is so boring to me like it's interesting but it's boring like i'd rather work with numbers and formulas and stuff like that over learning processes and definitions and stuff like that but at the end of the day i have to like it because that's part of you know chemistry slash pre-med and we get ready to take the mcat you gotta know all of this stuff so rather i remember it now um i'm just at least taking the notes for it so during the summer since i'm not taking the summer classes i can at least you know during the summer i feel like this is something i'm going to study like i'll study my biology notes because I, if you want me to be honest i'll write the notes down and try to learn it a little bit but being realistically everybody virtual learning right now anybody who's in school right now in general is not really grasping the material so we're just trying to get by not saying that it should be that way but with the workload that we have and the means that we are given of trying to learn the material you got to do what you got to do and at the end of the day college is not going to get any easier from here on out if anything it gets you know more difficult and more complex especially given that next semester everyone's coming on campus and i'm gonna be more involved in my like my school you know i want to get involved in organizations um and stuff like that during the summer i'm already doing community service i already signed up for community service um i have one tomorrow actually but yeah if y'all want to know more about my life just watch my vlogs okay 
so yeah y'all that's it um hope you enjoyed this video and i'm gonna talk to y'all not talk to y'all but like comment subscribe and yeah